Information. That's the construct of our world. That's how we form our world view based upon information. And these days, information comes at us from all angles. It comes, of course, from the newspaper. It comes from magazines. It comes from our laptop. It comes from my iPad. It comes from my iPhone. And of course, the Kindle, the radio, computer, and television, of course. It really is a tsunami of information. The problem these days is to know whether or not that information is reliable. We rely on journalists to interpret the stuff for us. Why? Because most people, of course, are not adept at going to the scientific literature, reading it, and analyze it, and know what to make of it. So the media reporters really are the conduit to the scientific literature, and uh, the public has to rely on them to interpret it properly. Of course, how do we know that they do this? Because there are so many people out there that there are proper reporters, there are bloggers. I mean, just look at the stuff that comes on my iPad from our friend, the food babe. If you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. Well, how reliable is that? Do we make our nutritional decisions based on the number of syllables in, the, in a food's name? Uh, no, of course not. It's not reliable. Uh, on the other hand, when you go to something like uh, Canadian Chemical News, you know that the information in here is pretty reliable. It's been vetted and uh, it is scientifically sound. But how do we know who is really re reliable? And uh, that's a challenge, and that's one of the challenges that our office here at McGill. Uh, oh, of course. This is what we do here at McGill. We organize things to let you in on the best possible information. And uh, next uh, Monday and Tuesday, we've organized a symposium on science and the media, and we've invited four world-class journalists to talk to us about interpreting the science properly. So, of course, you are all invited. It's going to be a lot of fun, it's going to be entertaining, and it is also going to be extremely informative.